Why should we privilege access to land and natural resources for small agricultural operations? For several years now, private investors have been taking control of significant areas of land to create large agricultural operations, mainly in southern countries. These projects are supported by governments, who often grant them access to the most fertile and well-located land, close to infrastructure, for example. This has social consequences, as some residents are forced to relocate without compensation, and environmental consequences, in particular as large farms use a lot of chemical products. So why do governments facilitate these projects? According to them, these large farms produce more than smaller ones and are more profitable. To check this, we compared two types of farms. Large farms use agricultural machinery, hire paid employees, and produce significant quantities for the market. In general, they only produce one type of crop. On the other hand, small farms are often managed by a family and use manual tools or sometimes machines. They produce various crops with the aim of feeding themselves as well as selling their produce on markets. Their revenue is often low as they only have small areas of land. But which of these farms is the most efficient? To produce the equivalent of 1,000 euros per hectare, a large farm must obtain seeds, chemical fertilizers, and fuel for the machines. It also needs to buy pesticides, as single crop farming is conducive to the emergence of parasites. Out of the 1,000 euros, only around 300 euros remains. Now let's take the example of a small farm. The yield is often smaller per hectare, for example, the equivalent of 800 euros of production, but it recovers seeds from its crops, uses manure as fertilizer, and does not buy much fuel. It also limits pesticides, as the diversity of its crops means it is less conducive to the development of diseases. Out of the 800 euros, 600 euros are left. As such, small farms generate more value per hectare. There are 500 million small farms across the world, and they represent over three quarters of agricultural production. So why do large farms seem more profitable? Because investors have access to very large areas at a minuscule cost, they generally pay their employees very little, and pay little or no tax. As such, Access to land and water, as well as to loans and state support, should be offered on a priority basis to small farms throughout the world.